Hey guys, Mango Recaps here, today, I am going to explain a final episode of an American crime drama television series, titled Backbird. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and please take care. As a disclaimer, this video includes my own analysis, commentary, and it's not a substitute of the full movie. Click the link below to watch, buy or rent the movie. This episode begins in Jimmy's nightmares, where he sees himself in Larry's place. He imagines talking with girls, choking girls, argue with his father when his father tries to stop him. He eventually wakes up. Larry happens to watch him sleeping. When Jimmy wakes up, Larry assumes Jimmy might have suffered a nightmare from his story. Eventually, Jimmy plays his card and demands to know his secret in detail. On the other hand, Larry insists that, he did not lie to him and everything that he had to tell him was the truth. Jimmy acts like he does not believe him and says, you are not the killer man. Wanting to know more about his killings, Jimmy pushes the man's limit. Larry is not happy because, the only person he believes has doubts about him. So, he asks Jimmy to come to the woodshop later where he will show Jimmy what kinds of eyes he has. Finally, Jimmy's plans are working. He is so close to finding the graveyard's location of dead girls. Jimmy is desperately waiting to catch up with Larry. In the meantime, Carter comes to his cells and offers to work with him. He also doubts that, Larry is the one Jimmy is ratting on. Carter also shows interest in working with those Jimmy is working on but to do so, he needs his cut. Clever Jimmy also plays his game and asks to call off his dogs for a week, and he will reveal whom he is ratting on. This buys enough time for Jimmy to nail a confession from Larry, and he will be free after that. Carter is not happy with Jimmy's appearance. Later that night, Giganti waits outside Jimmy's cell. Before leaving there, he tells a story about how his friend died and throws him an intimidating warning. Afterward, Jimmy goes to the woodshop where Larry is carving birds. Jimmy finds that, there are 21 birds, and asks why he carved exactly 21, why not less or more than 21? Wait, are these birds representing the girl whom Larry has killed? Larry says, they watch over the dead and guard their spirits to make sure they are okay. Larry wants to make sure that, he is not a liar and starts to open up. He says he folds the girl's clothes realizing that it is an act of kindness for a deity. Larry eventually speaks about Trisha Reitler. She was different from other girls he has been with. She had strong hands like a man and punched him in the face. When she continuously hits him, he choked her and killed her. He states that, he had dug more grave than Jimmy has been with the woman. He also admits that, he dug a grave for Trisha and that grave is one of the best he ever did. And boasts that no one will ever find that grave. Listening to the ruthless murders of those innocent girls, Jimmy's eyes are filled with tears. He suggests Larry, send the map anonymously of the buried location to the victim's family, and give some relief to these people. But Larry doesn't want to give them relief and instead chuckles. He believes that, if the victim's family finds out the grave of the girls, then he is not walking out of the prison. And he is confident that, he will win his appeal and walks as a free man. Jimmy in rage says that, he is not walking free. Larry cannot believe his ears and soon realizes that, Jimmy is the snitch Beaumont has sent to find the grave of the dead girls. At the right moment, guards step in and separate them. The next day, all the inmates' cell doors open up except Jimmy. It turns out that, guards are waiting for him to throw him into solitary confinement. Jimmy asks them to call Dr. Zickerman, but the guard throws him. He asks Penn so that he could draw the maps where the bodies are, but the guards don't listen to him. Before he forgets, he cuts his fingers and with the blood, he draws the map on the wall. He even tells the guards that he has been sent by the FBI, but the guard doesn't believe him and slams the door of the hole. Meanwhile, Lauren and Brian pay a visit to Gary. This time they want to know more about Larry. And Gary is the best who knows everything about Larry. When they say that Larry is behind all those murders, Gary refuses to believe it. When Brian says, if he gets released from prison he will live a normal life, have a wife and kids. But Gary becomes agitated and tries to convince himself that Larry is normal. Now Gary might have realized that, Larry is hiding something. Gary then shows a photo album of them. He also now opens up with the story around 15 years ago. He says, they picked up a hitchhiker once. They got drunk and slept together. But when he wakes up, he finds that girl with Larry. He had never seen Larry like that. Larry was choking her, spitting on her, and hitting her. This girl was screaming for help and says, no but Larry was forcing her. When Gary sees Larry over on his side of the tent with her, he looks like some kind of wolf, who might actually rip her throat out with his teeth. Gary wants to help the girl but was in shock and eventually stops Larry. The next morning that girl went out with some biker. He feels guilty that he introduces sex to Larry with the wrong woman in the wrong way. Back at the prison, Dr. Zickerman and Lauren release Jimmy from solitary confinement. As soon as Jimmy is out, 
he asks for a pencil to draw the map. Unfortunately, he forgot the exact map. He regrets not becoming to help them find the grave of the girls. But he tells that, Larry has two belts, which he uses to choke the girl, and also says that, he folds the girl's clothes and put earrings on the top of the dress. Lauren believed that, this is enough evidence to put Larry behind the bars. The maps which Larry had drawn are sent home along with the birds. But Larry's father burns them even without looking at them. As per the deal, Lauren helps Jimmy to be freed from prison. Jimmy is released. But it is obvious that the experiences with Larry have affected his mental state. As a free man, Lauren introduces Jimmy to Brian. Jimmy apologizes for not being able to help them to find the bodies. But they are happy and at least prevented any further crimes from being committed. Afterward, in Larry's appeal, Larry is found guilty of two murders and is sentenced to jail. Larry is disappointed with the hearing and he attempted suicide, but was unsuccessful. Meanwhile, Gary visits Larry where Gary asks to confess his crime. He wants Larry to tell his truth about the girls. Larry couldn't believe his brother's words. His brother who had always protects him and fights for him. Finally, Jimmy visits his father who is recovering after his early stroke. His father is happy to see Jimmy as a free man. Five years after Jimmy was released from prison, his father died on 2004. Gary finally convinces Larry to confess to 15 murders, while none of the burial sites have been unearthed. After release from prison, Jimmy starts a promising business career, and also continues to aid law enforcement in the profiling of serial killers. The episode ends here. Please, subscribe to watch more series recaps, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to support the channel.